Hey guys, welcome back to Keys of the Cosmos. I want to do a video on a problem that I've been having with my particular mount. I know it's been some time since you've seen this in my video, since I did my overview video. Um, the main thing was I was waiting on my counterweights. Uh, fortunately, they don't, this will be in that the, the full review video, they don't include enough weight, okay? So they only give you one and that was an issue. I wasn't, wasn't able to balance the scopes I wanted to use with this mount. And of course, they were on back order. What a shocker. Just like everything else in this uh, industry right now. So I had to wait a long time for that. But it finally arrived, which was great. And then I ran into a problem. And by doing, and doing a little bit of research, I realized it seems a lot of people are having this problem. So I wanted to make a quick video on a solution to this problem. A very quick solution and more importantly, cheap solution. So if you guys are thinking about or have purchased a CEM or a CM40, a CM40 or a CM40EC, I think it's even some of the other models that are having a, a problem similar to this. So any Ioptron mount like this, this may be a solution and a video that will help you. I really couldn't find too much on it. Um, I have to give a thanks to my buddy Mike. Here's his Instagram. Follow him. He's got some great images as well. And he actually helped me find the solution. And, um, but I couldn't find any videos on it. So I wanted to make my own in case there's other people that are having a similar problem. So this is the problem. Basically what I'm trying to do, right, is connect my CEM40 EC mount to my ASI Air so that the ASI Air Pro can now uh, communicate with it. It can become a go-to without using the hand controller here on the, on the mount itself. And I can basically run everything through the ASI Air, um, the camera, the mount, everything. That's the goal, right? And for most people, if you're not using ASI Air, maybe it's your laptop with some other sort of software, but that's generally the goal. You want one sort of hub that controls everything. The problem was, um, for some reason, the mount was not communicating with the ASI Air. So when I go to select that the, this particular mount in the drop-down menu on your ASI Air, when you go to connect the mount, and they had it there, of course, the CM40, the newer version, it wasn't connecting. It would constantly say uh, connection failure or something like that. And it was pretty frustrating, and I was doing a lot of reading and trying to figure out there was all kinds of solutions out there, and none of them seemed to work. But this one did, and it's one of the simplest ones. So basically, just a quick run through of how I connect my mount. So I'll show a close-up here while I'm talking of sort of... Uh, where I'm pointing at here. So we have a couple of ports. We have the main power input, right? So that's, um, you know, obviously where we're powering our mount. I'm using my Celestron power tank and I have just basically a, uh, you know, cigarette lighter type connection connected to that, which goes directly into the mount. So that powers the mount. Now the mount is what's going to power the ASI air. Up here on the deck axis is uh, a port here. There's actually two of them, I believe, yeah. Two auxiliary ports. And so by running that wire off there into the ASI air itself, okay, off the front where the main switch is, that's what powers the ASI air. And then from the ASI air, we're gonna power the camera, like you normally would even if you're using something like a star tracker. For that, we use the side here, right? We have our four ports. We make a similar connection from that to the back of our camera. Pretty simple. Now, you would think for the mount to connect to the ASI Air, we would simply use the USB 2.0 because the USB 2.0 coming off of the, the mount itself comes with a nice cord, okay, and your typical USB connection. And you would think that that would just connect to the USB 2.0 of the ASI Air. The 3.0, of course, would be saved for the camera itself. That's what we're using for data transfer and to the memory stick. So those 3.0s we don't touch. We know that is, belongs to the camera. But the 2.0 would make sense to run from, from the ASI Air into the mount in the 2.0 with the cord provided. The problem was it wasn't working, and I couldn't figure out why. I tried everything else, all kinds of things, you know, using a different cord, connecting directly into the camera, nothing, none of that seemed to work. What did work though was this simple 799 USB unpowered, I don't even know if that's how you say it properly, but it's basically, it's a non-powered USB port hub, you might call it. Okay, so there's four USB ports here. 
and then obviously the main USB coming off the hub itself. This was $7.99 on Amazon, okay? And basically all it's going to do is we're gonna run the mount through this first and then into the ASI Air. And that's what worked, hard to believe. So we're just basically just, instead of making that direct connection from this, from the mount itself into the, US, into the ASI Air, we're um, sort of directing it first into, we're bypassing it going into this hub first and then into the ASI Air. So all I do is here's my cord from the USB 2.0 of the mount, the USB N 2.0 standard into the USB port, the hub. And then the hub goes into the ASI Air uh, USB 2.0, like we talked about. And so by connecting those, that's it. It worked immediately. It recognized it. It controlled it. I've still got some things to iron out. Obviously, it's not quite ready for use. But um, that's basically the simplest solution that I could come up with. I know some guys were trying to bypass using the USB 2.0 on the deck axis. Um, the problem with that is I want that port, right? I want that port to use on my dew heater. My dew, he dew heaters I use for my telescopes are USB 2.0. So I, the idea is to run the cord, you know, right from the, the deck axis to the telescope using the dew heater there. And that would provide power for that. So I didn't want to do that solution. This one is nice because as I mentioned, not only is it super cheap, right? We don't want to, we don't want to spend a ton of money to have to find a solution to something that should have worked right out of the box, but it's also quite light, right? So I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount this. And, and once I get the telescope on and, and really sort out the details, make sure everything's working, then I'll, then I'll worry about where to mount it, but it's also very light. It's not going to pull on anything. And as mentioned, it's very cheap. So that's the solution, a USB hub, non-powered. The mount goes into this and then the hub itself connects to your ASI Air and it's USB 2.0. So hopefully that works for you guys if you've uh, you know been finding you having problems connecting your brand new mount that you spend a lot of money on. It's a $7.99 Canadian fix anyway and hopefully that helps guys. It's helped me and uh, I'm hoping to spend the next couple of clear nights with this thing outside with the my Explore Scientific refractor which I haven't even shown yet on the channel I've had it for quite some time but haven't had a chance to use it now I finally got the right mount for it and hopefully it'll be working and operating very soon and I'll have so much more content for you guys so I hope that helps thanks so much and I'll see you on the next one take care